direct variation versus inverse variation. We're going to go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of direct variation and inverse variation. Direct variation equations are in the form y equals kx. Inverse variation is in the form y equals k over x. If we take the equations and solve them both for k, with direct variation, k equals y over x, and inverse variation, k equals xy. Direct variation is linear. x has an exponent of 1, and x is in the numerator. Inverse variation is nonlinear. x has an exponent of 1, however, it's in the denominator. Since direct variation is linear, that means it has a constant rate of change. Remember, all linear functions have a constant rate of change. And since inverse variation is nonlinear, it has a variable rate of change. The graph for direct variation, hopefully you recognize the form y equals kx. That tells you that it is going to be a straight line through the origin. Inverse variation in quadrant 1 looks like an L. So looking back at direct variation, since direct variation is a straight line through the origin, direct variation is also a proportional relationship. 